Whew. Hello there. It's been a while and everything is fucking crooked again. Sorry, sorry, don't worry. I'm just. I'm just touching you. Mm, yeah, you like that, don't you? There you go. I hope you made you incom uncomfortable enough. Let's get this as fixed as I can. So, hello there. It's been a while, yeah. I've done kind of a couple of, of uh, unboxings. Uh, I'm sorry if I haven't been around a lot. Uh, university, being sick, having my whole room to uh, fix up because I had a lot of stuff to fix up. I need to fix up uh, a lot of issues. Uh, I'm running out of room, literally. So I need to put some shit on the wall and I need to put a new shelving unit because my old one is breaking down. Uh, my glasses broke too, so that's another fucking thing for money. Uh, and I have, and I am looking like I need to be a punch in a fucking locker room probably uh, in um, in some fucking, I don't know, 80s uh, kind of cliche thing. Uh, whatever. I am back, I am kind of back, not back, I'm kind of back. I have a couple of video reviews of some movies that I saw, uh, some TV shows that are slowly coming out. It's been a while since I've been able to actually record. Again, a lot of shit happened. And uh, for now, we're gonna concentrate on some updates that I have, mainly this on the two masks that I bought from Enrico Palma and that I finally finished on working on. The first one is gonna be this one, at the, and which is still not fully done, but whatever, fuck it. Uh, this one is the, uh, and it looks really bad at the moment. This is the Jay Weinberg uh, V2, We Are Not Your Kind. It looks kinda shit because uh, for now it's hold with some yarn here because I need to buy some uh, a lot of rivets because this is this motherfucker takes like 30 rivets on its own and I'm gonna glue some parts down so at least it doesn't look as bad and I need to shape it a little bit too but I love how the color came out how it um, how the mouth came out too uh, I put four straps in this case straps that I made they're not the best they're not the worst uh, because uh, like this they actually fit and it doesn't fold up because with this mask and even the other one there's an issue with Jay's mask that he usually he, ju he just does that the mask stays on his head like this but believe me when I say it it's very uncomfortable to talk in this because uh, this chin continuously slips and I want to keep these a long time because I wear them for conventions so give me a second and I'll uh, I'll get the new one I just finished this essentially two minutes ago. Uh, this is my V2 We Are Not Your Kind, essentially I have a just We Are Not Your Kind collection. This is the V2 We Are Not Your Kind uh, Corey Taylor and uh, it's probably one of my favorite masks especially for because I got the, the blank and I painted this one and I'm very proud of how it came out uh, and I had to actually stitch the whole thing uh, and Rico did include uh, some uh, parts parts that were already hauled out uh, like this part the chain and the, and the under chain but I had to redo it do essentially all of the temples the the back the little scratches here and uh, it was actually here too and same for this side these were a pain in the ass to do because I took the most, the most asinine way to do it but that's not here nor there as you can see the, the paint is not as accurate as it could be but it's what I like most uh, I went for a half weathered look like it was in the mid time that we saw it wearing wear this mask before it was weathered to shit like with the three line three four lines here on on the head uh, this is actually very comfortable. It fits me pretty snugly. I did add these that I made like literally with some leather skin like 
crocodile skin that I had and just stitched them a little bit and uh, riveted them down. These are more for uh, decoration essentially because these this one fits me extremely well. It does not do anything. I can I can literally put it on through uh, probably two of them, not even three, and fitting them it's actually pretty easy. So let me take off my. Sorry, there is a lot of shit on the floor too. Again, this fits me extremely snugly. Actually, m my hair peek out of the slit in the back, so it usually tends to just be annoying and nothing else. These are just an extra precaution, and they're essentially the just to be uh, decoration and be accurate to the actual mask. So that they fit pretty well. The mask itself fits, fits really well. I can hear quite nicely. I can actually talk a lot. Uh, the chin is quite short, but that's because this is made for collection. It's not made technically for cosplay. Uh, this was made uh, for collecting these, not you know doing other things. I did glue down these instead of actually riveting that because. Uh, uh, it was pretty useless to me to buy a complete different tool to push them and make them into one single thing but the mask itself is bloody perfect as you can see i can pretty much talk completely technically i sh i should open up these a little bit in order to actually be able to open the mouth fully uh, I don't know if Corey has it till here, but for sure a little bit of this should be open, but I'm not gonna do it because the mask is it's pretty good already and I'm not gonna complain about it that much. I don't have to do God knows what with it. I just need to be be cool with it, be creepy with it, you know, the usual stuff. So, you know, and I can literally slip it down like this which is lovely i'm gonna put this on a headphone soon and uh, enjoy enjoy the mess that i that i made with this and uh yeah that's pretty much it on this uh front on the mask front because uh, i've been um, really busy with a lot of stuff 